Hi, so in this video we are going to learn the easy way to remember the values of sine and cosine. So if we have a right angle triangle like this, where if this is theta, then this is called the perpendicular and this is called the base and this is called the hypotenuse. And we know the sine theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse. So if we can make this hypotenuse equal to 1, this thing equal to 1, then the value of sine theta will be equal to the length of the perpendicular and the value of cos theta will be equal to the length of the base. And this is what we do in unit circle method. So let me draw a unit circle over here, a circle like this whose radius is 1 unit. This is plus x in this direction, minus x in this direction, plus y in this direction and minus y in this direction. Here we will have both the values of x and y positive and this quadrant will have all the values of x negative and y positive. This will have both x and y negative and this quadrant will have x positive and y negative. This is the origin. It will have values 0, 0. This point will have values of 1 and 0 as this is the circle of radius 1 unit and this will have values 0, 1 and here we will have values minus 1 and 0 and this will have values 0 and minus 1. And the angles are measured over here in clockwise direction that means in this direction. So let me draw a line which represents 45 degrees. This represent 30 degrees. This line represent 60 degrees. So if we can find the coordinates of these points, x coordinate will represent cosine and y coordinate will represent sine because this is 30 degrees so this value will represent sine whereas this value the base value will represent cosine this is the value on x axis and this is the value on y axis so how to find the coordinates of these points so there is a shortcut so first you write down 1 2 and 3 then you write down 1 2 and 3 divide all of them by 2 and then take the square root of the numerator in these two places square root of 1 can be written as 1 itself and this can be solved further the root 2 divided by 2 can be written as 1 by root 2 similarly this can also be written as 1 by root 2 so these values actually represents the cos and sine values of these angles this represents cos 0 sine 0 this represents cos 30 sine 30. This represents cos 45 sine 45. This cos 60 sine 60. And these values represent cos 90 and sine 90. So if you reflect the values of this quadrant, the first quadrant across the y-axis, you will get all x is negative and all the y's will be positive. And if you reflect all these values, across the x-axis. In this quadrant you will get all the values of x and y both negative and in this quadrant you will get the values of x as positive and y as negative. Right? So if you want to find the value of cos 150 and sin 150, these will be the values of cos 150 and sin 150. This is the angle which shows 150 degrees. And now if you want to find the values of 270, these will be the values of cos 270 and sine 270. Cos 270 is 0 and sine 270 is minus 1. Similarly, if you want to find the values of cos 330 and sine 330, this will be the angle. This will be the angle which is equal to 330 and the values of cos 330 and sine 330 will be root 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. So, you can find the values of cos and sine in one quadrant and then you just reflect the values across the axis and then you can get all the values of cos and sine, right? So I think this was very easy method. So keep watching Math Smart and bye-bye till then.